The following presentation is rated Web 14 for sexual situations and suggestive dialogue. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Behind the scenes film shoots. Scene 11 to scene 12. Bert Oliva. People want to see the arguments. They yeah. want to see the fights. It was a lot of fun. Miami Dolphins. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Because a lot of times people think it's really cool to be in an episode of our show. So they invite us and give us press passes to all these great events around town. Today we're on our way to Jungle Island, which is a local amusement park down here in Miami, for terror in the jungle. It's right, so a VIP media night where they invite people from the media to come have a good time and experience it. So I guess we can report it back to the general public. Oh, bite me. You want to bite me? <laughs> I peed my pants. Okay. <laughs> I can do that. They had a DJ from Club 11. Yeah. To get the party started, after you checked in, they escorted you over to a VIP area where they kept circulating different animals. So there's this guy with this huge snake, and I'm an opportunist. I saw an opportunity. So I was like, look. We're in a reality show. Those girls over there put two and two together. Somebody put a boa or a snake or something on top of me. It was pretty enjoyable. <laughs> oh, yeah! Get <laughs> that away from me! Welcome to the opening of Terror in the Jungle! Miami's best scare event. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. First of all, I don't know if you spend much time in a very dark pitch black jungle full of wild animals that are pouncing around every corner as you meander through the jungle. You meet very interesting creatures who have landed on our beautiful property. So we made our way through the maze and we're very scared on the way there. And then we went to the haunted house, which was very well put together. Everybody's like holding hands, like walking through the whole thing. Like I feel like I'm in second grade. We have like this whole hand train going on. It was scary. I may have screamed a bit. I also may have kept my eyes closed and grabbed onto Alexa's purse. I don't know if she knew that. It had its moments. How do we get out? Go through it! I guess it depends on the person. I kind of like things that are scary, so, you know, maybe I'm a little sick. It was on par with the haunted houses I've been to before at some of the Halloween themed parks. Just wish there was another one because it was so much fun that you just wanted another one. It was really spooky and it was just as good as the ones in Bush Gardens. You're missing South Florida's very best Halloween attraction. First year, first night, come on out, party with us. Terror in the jungle! But we didn't have too much time to think about that because then they pushed us off into this shuttle or actually a bus ride. Are you ready? Yeah! Party bus that had a stripper pole in the back with a DJ and lights and drinks. With all the smoke and everything, you thought you were in the club. But this was just a teaser. So we got to Club 11. We ended up on a rooftop terrace. Which was really nice. There was a fashion show and some more food and drink, and it was a really nice event. This fashion show, whether it be expected or not, the women were beautiful. I am so thankful I live in South Florida. Kind of wasted on me. The clothes were nice. There was this one girl that was wearing a really nice um, blouse thing. It was gold. It flapped. It looked like she had a cape on. <laughs> it was like she was a superhero. Curiosity got the best of us. So we got in touch with Gino. I'm one of the operating partners here at 11 Miami. It's an incredible hybrid from nightclub to theatrical performances. We have 100 beautiful girls um, entertaining you. If you haven't been to 11 Miami, you need to come and check it out. And then we were invited into the main club and I was like, all right, we're gonna dance. I hate clubs. I suppose that's blasphemous to say if you live in Miami. It's dark. 
so you don't really know what's happening, so you don't expect anything. It's just dark. And we walked in. <laughs> a girl humping a pole. First thing I see, he's in the face. So I'm like, oh, damn. What I enjoy less than clubs are strip joints. This is not the club I thought it was. <laughs> it was dancing of an erotic nature. <laughs> that just held, held no interest for me. I'm gay. If you're prone to epileptic seizures, this is not your thing. Like, like lasers and smoke was everywhere, and like blaring music, you lose an eardrum or two. It was a show. But he loves me so good I Finally, at least at the very end, one guy did take his shirt off, so that was nice. But me, I was like, eh, we don't, we don't really have to go so soon. Are we going to 12 now? Or are we going? <laughs> Welcome to the family. I'm Val. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. And subscribe, of course. <laughs>